Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Sun TJ. It's been a while since I've done a power scaling video, and my voice is going to sound slightly deeper because I just kind of have a raspy voice right now. But I just recently released my, um, my top 50 strongest God of War characters. And again, like I've stated in the past, it's not really my priority to make those videos anymore. I only make those as a passion project. I, I kind of have to do that because if I keep making those videos just because I feel like I need to, it's not going to make me happy. But in terms of God of War, um, I beat God of War Ragnarok. I think I put about 50 hours in. And I've just always been a fan of the series. I played pretty much all the God of War games, even the PSP games. Um, and especially when it was uh, remastered to the PS3. So, I know a lot about God of War. And the biggest debate ever since God of War 2018 is that, is Norse Kratos stronger than he was in the Greek mythology? And I can't blame people for having this so confused because... Each game has different directors. Of course, the most popular director of God of War is Corey Balrog. And his statements kind of, people take it as word of God for most cases. Which again, when it doesn't contradict the actual source material, I can agree with that. But there is stuff that, that, that contradicts what he says in terms of how strong is current Kratos and everything like that. Because naturally, when games switch... The director is going to have a different opinion and different writers are going to have different opinions. So it is, it's, it's really debatable, to be honest with you. But pretty much, we all know that Kratos, since he's the main character and he has to pretty much win every video game, he is the strongest, like, god in, like, in the God of War franchise. Like, this guy is pretty much unstoppable. Uh, <laughs> this, this guy had just, he pretty much can beat every god. Like, the one that gave him the hardest fight was his father, Zeus. But with Cory Balrog, he said that current Kratos is at its strongest. But the games itself always shows Kratos like struggling, needing to heal, stuff like that. Which the old Kratos, you know, the yelling, Athena! Zeus! He always was on full power. Like he never really had to practice holding back, controlling his emotions. And that's what makes Kratos seem like he's weaker in these current games. But... Even though Koi Balrog says that, the current director doesn't believe in that. He says that in all of God of War, Eric Williams, by the way, he states that Kratos in God of War 2018, and especially in Ragnarok, is rusty um, because he's holding back compared to he was before. And even one of the writers state that Baldur is not beating Zeus. Zeus is 100% stronger than Baldur. And just because Cory, you know, disagrees with that but if the actual canon is telling you multiple times that for example um mimir is stating that kratos is getting back into form once he gets the drop near spear like oh you're finally getting back to form uh kratos saying multiple times that like if he faces odin or thor that he's gonna become the guy he used to be when uh when kratos is fighting um thor after training with atreus for like years like <laughs> and being stronger than he was when he fought balder uh, um, Thor even states that you're a shell of your former self. And then when Kratos unleashes his true anger, that's he's able to compete with Thor and uh, appear to where he was before. So, like, I don't, dis I don't disagree with Corey that Kratos is naturally stronger physically because guys get stronger the more they get older. But him limiting himself makes him weaker than he was in God of War 3. That's why Eric Williams keeps saying that he is rustier. And the fact that even Freya, which is the queen of Odin and knows pretty much his power, she states that the Sisters of Fate, which Kratos bodied, is way beyond the entire Norse pantheon. And to use Corey's words as well, that the Sisters of Fate are stronger than everyone in the Greek verse outside of, like, Fear Zeus. So, if older Kratos is struggling against, like, you know, Thor and Odin because he's holding back, but a younger Kratos who's, who's weaker, like, God-wise in terms of, like, overall power, but... He's able to beat the Sisters of Fate and use the power of hope to beat Zeus. And then the fact that the matter is as well is that Kratos, 
legit can't use his powers from the Greek mythology because uh, when Kratos is talking about because no Mimir says that the the gods from the um, the Greek mythology have all the powers and like why can you access those powers because most people in Norse mythology only have like lightning fire and like bit frost and things like that it's kind of limiting while in the Greek mythology they pretty much had every power and Kratos says that once he left the Greek mythology he can't use his powers also a mixture of like the Greek realm died but we also know Tyr visited the Greek realm and it's like kind of prospering it's just no gods there anymore um so yeah like we just know right now that Kratos doesn't have his Greek powers he doesn't have the power of hope which was the only way he was able to beat Zeus in the first place uh, we do know he's naturally stronger physically, but that doesn't really matter if he always holds himself back. And when he does release his, his rage, it's like at a very limited point. Like why in the Greek mythology, he was always at 100%. He was always angry, which he he's kind of like the Hulk. He's always holding himself back now. Um, so, yeah, like I would say I have to agree with Eric uh, Williams that it's just too much information pointing towards that. Like the entire game of Ragnarok is literally contradicting everything Corey says about, oh, Kratos is the strongest he ever was right now. Like, no, he's holding back all the time everyone's stating that you're getting back in the form and even when um they're talking about heimdall and like heimdall is like you know stated to like never lose a fight he's only like he's only afraid of uh, thor kind of really but he still think he could take him on and kratos even states that yeah I, I fought stronger gods than him so if kratos in the greek mythology is able to take on the sisters of fate able to beat zeus with the power of hope but in this current games we're talking about how freya the one who knows odin a lot saying that the sister of fate's power is way beyond anyone in norse mythology but mirror stating that the gods had pretty much all the powers in uh in the greek mythology compared to the norse mythology now i'm not stating that every norse god is weaker than the greek gods i think thor can compete with pretty much all the, the the greek gods except for like zeus and the sisters of fate but I think right now, Kratos, in like his natural state, if he gets angry, can compete with Kratos from the God of War 3 um, a little bit. But when God of War 3, Kratos uses the power of hope or like the Blade of Olympus, I think current Kratos, unless he releases his full rage, can't compete with that Kratos. Well, like can't win against. But let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think Corey Belrock can never be wrong, <laughs> even though there's different writers and different directors? Like, again, Corey, I love Corey, but that statement that just, that Kratos is stronger and Baldur is stronger, because people even use the statement that Baldur is the strongest, um, like, feat that he ever, like, went against. It's mostly because Baldur had a vulnerability to pretty much everything outside of, like, you know, what Loki did, aka Trace did, um, breaking his spell. But yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think Norse Kratos is stronger than Greek uh, Kratos? I think right now, um, unless Kratos unleashes his full rage, um, and unlocks the power of hope again. He's not beating God of War 3 Kratos. I think God of War 3 Kratos is the strongest in the verse. I think Kratos, if he like unleashes his power, he could be up there as well. But like he's not beating Fear Zeus, things like that. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want more power scaling videos. So sorry if it's kind of like a little bit of a downer. Just my voice has been out of it and I just haven't really been feeling that well. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you want any more God of War um, <laughs> videos as well. Sun, TJ, peace. Um, check out my merch and check out my top strongest video. Um, I kind of hate doing those videos. I can't really explain everything, but if you want me to explain any more stuff, just let me know. Son, TJ, peace. Love you all.